All right, in this clip, we are going to fix other issues using original photos. So between the two clips, I just cleaned a little bit my script because it was a little bit messy. And as well, I worked back a little bit on the eye we fixed in the previous clip and I did a slight better job. There is still some improvements, but that's already better. And so if you want to see what I've done, you can go inside the Roto Paint one and you can see that on the top of using clone, I use as well the smear tool and the blur to kind of get a better clean area here. But we'll be able to use these tools a little bit later as well. If you want to use my scene to keep working on, you can open m2 underscore 02 underscore n dot nk in the new script folder. All right, so let's start by coming inside our finder and inside the course material folder inside photos, I will grab the DSC 08304.jpg, which is one of the best photos for doing the adjustments we want to do right now. So I will simply drag and drop that photo inside Nuke and it seems that I disconnected something and yeah, it's supposed to be the roto connected to the frame hold here. Okay, so now let's see what we need to fix. So I'm going to hook up my viewer to the frame hold 2 here and let's have a look closer. So here I like to fix the eyebrow and as well later the lips. So let's do the eyebrow in this clip and we'll do the lips in the next one. So I will make a little bit of space here because what I want to do first is to overlay this image on the top of our current frame hold 2 here. So I will create a merge node with the M key and I will hook up the B pipe of the merge after the frame hold and the A pipe to my read 2. So we'll set my merge mix opacity to 0.5 and now I'll we'll preview that guy here and now I will try to line up this face with the face of my new image. Of course it doesn't line up at all because the images are not the same size so we'll need to create a transform node with the T key and I will start moving this image to try to line it up. Okay, so I need to zoom in a little bit. So it doesn't have to be perfect, right? This is just to give us a little bit of help to start. So I think this is enough for now. All right, and now I will need to isolate only the parts I want to patch. So I will create a rotor node with the O key and I will draw around the eyebrow here. All right, I will look for the multiply node, the mat one, not the merge, and I will use that multiple node to cut my image here. So I will put the roto inside the mask and the multiply between my transform and my merge tool. I'll reduce the value at zero and I will invert it. That way, if I'm looking at the multiply here, I'm keeping only the eyebrow. Sweet, so let's go back to the merge tool here and now I can put back the mix to one. There we go. So let's hide the overlay and see, it doesn't work that well. Maybe because we need to move a little bit our high bro, and then we are going to feather a little bit our mask. So it's Q again, and I will create a transform node right after my multiply one. So if you want to move the anchor point of a transform node, for instance, you just need to hold down the control or command key and you can move just the anchor point. And that way that's going to be easier to then move my object. So we're going to try to find a sweet spot to put it. There we go. This is already better. And now I close my transform for now. And this roto here, I will select the roto. I will select all the points and hit the E key to draw a feather all around my mask. And now I can adjust individually 
all these points to make sure I'm blending properly my patch with my texture. So you don't have to go too far because you already have a pretty good texture. The, the issue was coming only from the eyebrow. So there we go. So now that I'm fixing that guy, I see that I could fix that guy as well. But let's say it's good for now here. All right, so anytime you use the Q key to toggle on and off the overlay to see how it looks like. And I think it's looking pretty good. So the problem here is that our new texture is actually sharper than the texture we are using on our model. So what we're going to do here is to add the blur node with the B key and simply blur a teeny bit our texture, something like 1.6, I guess it's why maybe it's a bit too much, 1.3, one, well, well, 1, 1. 1.6 was good. All right, let's end this clip here. And in the next clip, we're going to fix the lips.